to actually understand who God is and what we've done, it's not pretty. The idea that God is perfect and he's all powerful and he's in control of everything and he's like the one person you would want on your team when we realize that we continually say, God, I don't want that. I'm gonna choose my own way. I'm gonna do my own things. I'm gonna choose what I wanna do. And we do that over and over and over again. When we finally understand that, it's a scary thing. And the only choice that we have is to walk into the throne room and to put ourselves on our face and to hope that nothing bad happens. I mean, that's what these brothers are doing. They're falling on their face hoping that Joseph doesn't kill them. And when we do that, when we finally come to realization of our sin and ask for forgiveness, what are we met with from God? What do we see in God? It's compassion. We believe that God responds to our repentance with love. So much love that he made a way to make us right. That he sent his son, Jesus, who came in the flesh as God, who lived a life deserving of no punishment and no death, and yet he took on our death and our punishment for us. We believe that the compassion of God moved him so much so that he gave himself up on the cross, that he took our sin and he took our punishment and he took our wrongdoing and he took all the moments where we choose our way over God's way and he died for them. Colossians 2.14 says that God took the record of our sin and he nailed it to the cross. That we believe the compassion of God moved him to the point to give himself up so that we could be forgiven. That Jesus dies so that we can live. And on the cross, Jesus takes our sin and he gives us his righteousness. That he makes us right with God. He forgives us. He really does. And yet how many times do we find ourselves asking for forgiveness for the same thing over and over again. 